does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Ahoy there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another game review charge by BoardGameExchange.com, the internet's only board game rental website. Today, I'm very excited for another special Kickstarter review for the game Crutal from World Village Games LLC. This is for two to four players, ages seven and up, and it'll take about 15 minutes to play this bad boy. And as you can tell, Crudel is a very tiny game. This is obviously the prototype edition, even though I do think the regular edition is gonna be this small and tiny, which is kinda of nice. But in this game, you are going to be uh, going from one corner of the board to the other corner of the board, trying to race each other by matching colors. Sound intriguing? Let's open it up and see how it plays. Okie dokie, inside a crudel, inside this tiny little container, you're going to get a lot of stuff, as you can see, which is always kind of nice. Uh, but first and foremost, you're going to get your handy dandy rule booklet. It is two pages, a double, well, it's one page, I should say, double sided. It's got nice color on there, and it's a very nice rule booklet. It'll show you exactly how to play, and you probably will never need it ever again because the game is very simple at its heart. Next, you're going to get your, I believe it's called your Tree Saver Game Board. Uh, which is trademarked, of course, and this is what's going to help you uh, lay out your board, because you're not actually going to get a game board, so what you're going to do is you're going to measure uh, as many as you want, but 16 by 16 is how we normally play, but you can go 12 by 12, and you're going to measure it out, and on all four corners, you're going to place one of these solid colored uh, uh, these squares. Uh, you make sure you have all four different colors, your green, your blue, your yellow, and your pink. And you're going to lay it out, and this is going to be our game board. Next, we're going to do a mock two-player hand, so you, can, or, uh, so you can see how it works. Uh, each player is going to take four colors, which will be on the corners of the board, and they are going to turn them upside down, mix them up, they're going to randomly pick two. So those two are going to be their objective for the game. So for this game, uh, it, I am going to have to go from blue to green. From blue all the way to green. If I can successfully get from blue to green, then I am going to be the winner of the game. The other player is going to repeat, and they're going to randomly uh, grab two, and we'll just pretend they grab those. And they are going to have to go from blue to pink. So they're going to have to go from blue to pink. Now, I, you're obviously like, well, blue to pink is shorter than blue to green. So should they have an advantage? Well, actually, the rule booklet says if you're going diagonal across the board, you actually have slightly a better advantage. I don't know exactly how that works because I'm not a mathematician, but apparently uh, I'm going to assume they're not lying to us. But anywho, we've got our board set up. We've got our objective set up. Now, to start the game, each player is going to grab 10 of these face-down crudel tiles over here. Now, these crudel tiles are all going to be, uh, they're all going to be a little bit different for the most part. Some of them will have all four different colors. Some will have two of some. Some will have three of some. And some will even be solid. They'll just be a solid green or solid yellow, solid blue, etc., etc. But those are what you're going to be using to travel across the board. So you've drawn your 10, each player has his 10, they know exactly where they need to go, from the blue to the pink, this guy from the blue to the green, so you can start the game. But there's a catch to this game, and I didn't actually mention this at the end of the review, I really do like the fact that there is a two minute timer. Now when I first read that there's a two minute timer, I was not a big fan, I was like, why is there a two minute timer? But once you play the game, you'll start to understand why you do need a two minute timer, because uh, how this works is, if you can successfully play all ten of your tiles, then you can grab five new tiles. And the, tur the turns would just go on for a very long time. So the two-minute timer is really nice. I just wanted to throw that out there. But anywho, you start the two-minute timer, and boom, you start playing. Now, since this guy is blue to green, that means he can only start by playing off of the blue tile or the green tile. So in order to do that, he's going to need to put two blue tiles there. Uh, so for instance, this is actually the perfect tile for him. So he can either put two green right here and start there, or he can start over here or over here. So we're just going to pretend that he's going to start right there. Blue, blue connected to blue. So next, he's going to continue to play. So he can either play blue-green right here, he can play green-green right here, he can play blue-blue, or he can play green-green over on there. So that one's not going to be no help because it's all different colors. That one's not going to be any help. Oh, there's blue-blue. So he can potentially do that. There's another blue-blue. Let's see. Uh, so all he can do right now is go blue-blue, and he's going to go blue-blue there. Next, what's he need? He can either do green-green, yellow-yellow, or green-green. So, oh, he's in luck. He's got yellow yellow but in fact does he actually want to do that probably not because that would actually help out his opponent who's trying to go from blue blue or from blue to pink so he's probably not going to do that and he's going to look at his hand and he's going to say well crap that was a very uneventful hand i really didn't really do anything so his turn is going to be 
over. So next, the other player is going to go. He starts with 10, and boom, it's now his turn. He starts the two-minute timer, and he needs to get from pink to blue. So he's looking, he's looking, he's looking, and he's like, wow, there's nothing really here that's helped me. Oh, there we go. We got yellow, yellow, and he can do that. Also, you can go ahead and show other people your tiles. It really doesn't matter that much. Uh, first and foremost, it would be hard to hold all 10 of these tiles in your hands like that. It would just be kind of awkward. And there's so many different combinations and so many different ways to go. When we were playing, we realized it really didn't matter that much. Uh, but anywho, so he's still looking. He can't play that. Uh, but what he could do is he could do yellow-blue, yellow-purple. He can do this. So he can go off that way. Uh, and that'll give him more options. Now... Uh, one thing is, he needs, in order to play here, he would need to have a green, yellow, blue, and green, which is going to be very hard to come by. So if he doesn't have a perfect match there, he can't play that. So it's essentially going to be a dead spot on the board. Uh, but anyway, does he have anything else to match? He's got blue and green. Yeah, he can go ahead and do that. So that'll help him a little bit. And then he can do that. And as you can see, you're going to keep playing back and forth. So let's just pretend his two minutes is up. He puts his down. Now, this guy, uh, he has still has all these crappy tiles he doesn't really want. But luckily, at the beginning of every turn, you're going to draw five new tiles. So he'll draw five new tiles, and he'll keep going on his goal to get all the way to green. Now, if he wanted to, he doesn't have to play off of this. He could play off of this and span that out this way. So sometimes you're going to be helping yourself, but at the same time, you're going to be helping your opponent, which uh, which is really intriguing and interesting part of the game. Uh, but anywho, you're going to keep playing until either A, someone completes their goal of getting from one corner to the other corner, or B, all of these crudel tiles are used, or are picked up, and it ends in a stalemate. Because every time, uh, you're not going to have a winner. Sometimes you're going to have a stalemate. But anyway, that is how Crudel is played. Holy baloney, Crudel from World Village Games, LLC. Currently on a Kickstarter near you. Check out the link below. Tell them about Game Corner sent you. But what are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros. Let's go over the cons. First, on the con side. Uh, I really wish there would have been a board, but obviously in this tight little container you can't fit a board. So that's a minor pet peeve, and you can easily make a board if you take the time and effort to do it. And uh, if you really enjoy the game, which I really did, uh, it would be well worth the time to do that. Also, uh, there's not too much strategy in this game. Now there is some strategy, don't don't let the, uh, the, the lack of theme of just matching colors fool you. There is some strategy to this game, but if you're really into strategy games, this is probably not going to be your cup of tea. Also, there is no theme to speak of in this game, you're just matching colors as I mentioned. Uh, last but not least, and this is a very minor pet peeve, this is the prototype edition, and even though it is compact, lightweight, very nice, it will stab you in the, when it's in your pocket, and it'll hurt, and it'll go, oh, crude you might not do that. But anywho, on to the pro side. I really enjoyed my time with Crudel. Me and my fiance had a lot of fun playing it. It's surprisingly deep. Uh, you, you play it the first time, you're like, oh, you're just matching colors. And then you'd be like, oh, but I really should have saved that instead of just wasting it here. I should have done this and that. There's actually a, a pretty surprising amount of strategy in this little color matching game. Also, I love the fact it's this compact. I'm assuming that the final edition is going to look something like this as well. But it's a very compact, tight little game. I mean, you could put this in a backpack, take it out to a restaurant, bust it out just about anywhere you please. Also, this is a great teaching tool and a great game for children. If you have kids ages 6, 7, and plus, this is going to be a fantastic, fun time to play with them because it's all about matching colors. Anybody who knows their colors can play, and, and it's just a really good time. Overall, I can definitely recommend you check out Crudel. A, because I had fun with it. B, because it's so light and compact. And uh, C, yeah, C, because as it says on the bottom here, share with a friend for as low as six bucks? Six bucks on Kickstarter? You can't go wrong. Anywho, Crudel from Village Games LLC, definitely give it a look. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for your time, YouTube. That was the review for Crudel. For more reviews and previews, check back at Bowers Game Corner. Also check out BoardGameExchange.com, the nationwide board game rental service.